Hi guys, Terry here from For The Love Of Fitness. Now, I got such a good response from my last video about the benefits of fitness and exercise on mental health, so I thought I'd make another video. I'm gonna talk about the reasons why you're happy and then next minute you're sad and in your head for no reason. Okay, so the whole week, last week, I was, just so happy I was getting on with my things I was progressing and then yesterday I was just miserable it was like I was depressed I didn't want to see anyone I couldn't both do anything and I'm thinking why in my head there's no reason for me to be depressed for me to be sad and I'm thinking I must be depressed I must be depressed we all get that we all can just be sad and depressed and miserable for no reason in our head, we can't seem to think. But then we start thinking of all these reasons what it is and they can start building up and you start believing all these things. So what I did is, I didn't want to see anyone yesterday, so I stayed in, I didn't go out, I didn't go on my phone, I just relaxed. I started eating just pretty good food. And then around eight o'clock at night, I started feeling better. And then I realized I just needed to recharge. I said recharge really weird. I needed to recharge. You need to recharge your batteries. You need to give your brain a break. You need to give your body a break. We're constantly on the go. We're doing things all the time. We're thinking about things all the time. And sometimes we just need to shut down and our body can't take it. And it's a mechanism. It makes you feel depressed, it makes you feel sad. It makes you stop. It makes you not want to talk to people. It makes you stop. And then once you have that recharge and you relax, you start feeling better. It could also be that you didn't get enough sleep the night before. If you didn't get enough sleep the night before, that's gonna add to your tiredness, that's gonna add to you needing to recharge. So think about if you're feeling miserable and you have no clue why, maybe you just need to relax and do nothing. Don't go on your phone, don't do anything, just sit in and eat good food and that's it. Another reason why you could be sad and depressed for no reason that you can think of is you could possibly be dehydrated. Now we're meant to get eight cups or two liters of water per day to keep us hydrated. Depending on whether you're training, you will need more. Depending on whether you're sweating more, you will need more. Now, if you are dehydrated, you're gonna feel irritated and you're gonna feel sad and you're gonna feel like you don't wanna talk to anyone. So sometimes simply drinking enough water will make you feel happy. Also, what have you eaten? What have you eaten today? Have you eaten enough food? Are you lethargic and tired and feeling sad and depressed because you haven't eaten, so you haven't got the energy? And what did you eat the night before? Did you eat nothing? You know what I mean? The day before is really important as well. Did you go out on a bender? Did you drink loads of alcohol? Everyone knows you're gonna feel like that anyway, so that would be a reason, but let's cut that bit actually. But talking about the day before, what did you eat? Were you eating loads of crap yesterday? Did you not drink any water yesterday as well? So you're extra dehydrated and you may not think about your nutrition side of it, but it's such a big part. Nutrition is such a big part. What you put in your body is gonna affect how you feel. So if you're putting crap in your body, you're gonna feel crap. So make sure you're putting the right stuff, the right good stuff. And if you do, you'll feel good. And that could be one of the reasons you're not getting the nutrients and the vitamins that you need from the good food. Another thing that can be making you feel sad and depressed on that day is you have a list of things to do but you haven't written them down so in your head you've got a massive build up of things to do but you don't know where to start what i do is i have a list and i write down what i need to do and i try and prioritize it now if you've got adhd like me you're going to find that extremely difficult it's taken me years of practice to be able to prioritize before it would be like a debt collector might come around and take my car away that would have the same priority as me going to get a sandwich in Tesco because I was hungry. So this is how crazy it was. You need to prioritize, you need to write down all the things you need to do and from top to bottom, which ones need to be done first and go through the list. And yes, there's gonna be still be things needed added to that list, but you just put them in, but you just keep going through your list. If you leave it, you're just gonna have a build up and a build up of things and you're gonna feel mad. Also, this one's a bit deeper. You could be feeling sad and depressed and don't know why, but it could be going on for a longer time. Sometimes you just don't have the goal in life. We all need goals in life. It doesn't matter how small and how big. If you're waking up and you're going to work and you're doing the same thing and you're coming back home and that's what you're doing, you will feel miserable, trust me. 
So we all need to have little goals, even if your goal is just going to the gym and getting stronger or fair or something, yeah? Any goal, that's why we need goals to progress through life. And you may not even know that this is the reason why you're feeling this way, because you don't have goals. So this is what I'm saying out list as well. You can write down the things that you want to achieve in life and the things that you want to do and start going through them. Start going through things on the list that you want to achieve. And trust me, when you start going through these, you're going to start feeling better. Those sad and depressed days, they might not come. Also, what I found in my time is you don't notice that. But if you're around negative people, they start kind of sucking the life out of you or they start making you negative, which affects your mood, starts making you miserable. You might not be able to do anything about it, but you may not realize that that's happening. People that are negative, they can make you feel horrible. They can make you feel sad and you don't realize. And sometimes you just got to, like I said about the list, you got to write down what the possible reasons are for you to be sad. And you might even come up with that negative person. And then you're like, fuck you, negative person. No, you don't want to say that. But you want to realize it and try and do your best to uh, maybe not be around that person for so long. Or even speak to them if you can and explain to them that their negativity is making you feel sad. But only do that if you feel that the situation won't be crazy and won't be worse. Um, it's a delicate subject, but yes, that's a possibility. Okay, so I hope some of those um, points that I've made may have triggered something in you where you think, you're right, Terry, those are the reasons why I'm sad. You're a genius, young man. Mm, 37, I'm not that young, I suppose, but yeah, you know what, I'm feeling young. But yeah, I hope it has, and then, you know, you can start putting them, you can start implementing them, and then hopefully, when you're feeling sad or depressed and you don't know why, you can look at that and go, oh, that's the reason. I need to eat. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out my last video, Benefits of uh, Your Mental Health with Fitness and Exercise, I'll put a little link up there. I'll put it in the description. And if you like this video, as always, give me a thumbs up and comment in the, uh, in the comments and let me know what you think about it and what you want to see next. Um, and also, one more thing, please subscribe. You subscribing will help me to continue doing this and uh, take care. Thank you.